All right, you are watching DefenseReview.com. I'm back with Dave Pavlik of New Defio and Arsenal Democracy. And he is going to show us this very cool black side uh, suppressor holster, silencer holster, uh, for his black side uh, Glock pistols, which is very cool. All right, so tell us about it. So, um, yeah, this is kind of a, this is a collaboration with uh, another company, a good SF buddy of mine, Larry Ryland of KMFJ LLC. And, uh, you know, the two of us used to be in the SIF together. And uh, an issue that we had back when we were going to Iraq is as, um, as guys doing building climbs and whatever else, we would, uh, we'd really have to use pistols and sling the Mark 18 on our backs. And so uh, we needed a way to carry a pistol that had a suppressor on it, had a light, a laser, potentially even a, uh, a doctor sight when we ran it in dovetails. And um, we couldn't ever really find a good solution for that. Guys were tucking them in a magazine pouch. Guys were uh, trying to run magnets, um, all kinds of solutions. We even had Kydex kits and we tried to heat up our own and make this sword sheath. And um, none of it was really effective. And, uh, and Larry had a great idea for a, a, it's almost like a taco shell kind of retention that grips around uh, the frame and the slide together. And then we just kind of evolved from there. We, we added this 45 cut to help guide out a suppressor as someone draws it up and out. Uh, we added this retention here. Uh, we had some um, guys from a unit uh, try it out uh, originally it was a bungee uh, retention. They wanted something that they could use to retain it uh, all the way up until the time they needed the pistol. Um, and that's what this is. This is something where you can very quickly um, just actuate this with your thumb. Yeah. So you just hit that, yeah. it releases the retention. There's still retention on the pistol. The pistol still needs to get a slight twist and then you can draw it, clean out, it comes out like that. Right, so it comes out like, yeah, at the top almost like yeah, but you know it's it's such that it will still separate even if you. And this uh, one's got a light, by the way. This is obviously you see the light there, the tactical white right. light. So the you know takes the pistol and the light and the suppressor, everything you know. Right, it can be right adapted out. for um, you know any unit, any department, uh, any person. If they sit there and go, hey, I've got a Surefire X three hundred, which is what this is, or they've got a uh, Lamb one thousand, you know, Peck fourteen, or. Uh, or an Insight or a Streamlight TLR, uh, they can adapt that. It's very easy. I mean, Larry literally does all of these um, in production now, uh, you know, in, by hand. All right, so yank it out of there again. So, I mean, and again, um, I really should put on this RTI. Okay. We actually have made this uh, a now QD. Let's see the other side of the holster there. Oh, no, 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 sorry. Yeah, yeah, yep. there we go. So this has a quick adapter for uh, just a simple RTI. Uh -huh. So as we have it here, I literally just this is a G-code attachment, mm -hmm. right? So we just put it on there, make sure it's fully in, and then lock it, and that whole thing is on locked there. on. So this is my, I've got a three-quarter drop that I run, but we've obviously also got them for Molly, for guys to run yeah. them on their Molly kit, or a paddle if they wanted to run it, uh, almost like an open carry. Uh, it's really, I mean, it's up to the user preference. But uh, as we have it here, it's got good retention. It's holding yeah. it here. Yeah. Um, we can actually hold it upside down yeah. and it won't drop. But as we grab it here, we just give it a slight twist and you can still pull straight up and out. Very cool. Even if you know, So you twist it outward a little bit, down outward a little bit? You're you're okay. giving it you're giving it just a slight twist and out. So okay. as you run it like this, you just give it a slight twist when you go. Right. Yeah. Slight twist to break, which most folks naturally rotate their arm anyway. But yeah. Even if you didn't do that it will still pull up and out. Nice. Even if you were to drag it all the way through, that's why I put those 45 cuts in there. Because yeah. as you draw up and out, it will start to draw it as it needs to, to come out yeah. and come out of the holster. So what we found is it's actually milliseconds as close to times when drawing a, a pistol out of a normal holster with no suppressor on. Uh, the difference in timing on a shot clock is is so minimal it has to be measured with a shot clock. Um, we've had guys draw up and out almost as fast as there was no suppressor on the gun, on the gun. Right, and you've got by the way you've got your magwell on here in the white right now. It's a prototype version of your magwell. Right? That's right. Yeah. So this is a magwell. This would be black. Normally this would be black like the gun. Right. It will come anodized black. Uh, this is it's just so new. It was literally done uh, the day of shot, and. Um, we designed it to be to be low profile. It still follows some of the lines. We've got um, we like to put chamfers on just about everything. 
um, but it's a modification of uh, a design that I come up with a couple years ago uh, utilizing uh, this this cleft in the front if you will it's kind of like a hoof and that is meant to integrate with uh, your hand as you're reloading so as we have magazines right, I've got here let me drop as you have magazines you're always reloading like this yeah. so we come up and in and a lot of magazine wells that have these like large kind of toes yeah. you're having to get here you butt into that and then you kind of have to do this half-handed reload to get back on here yeah. we didn't find it very efficient whereas this kind of just automatically guides your finger up and over into your support hand position yeah. so we added that we um, obviously gave it a very generous uh, chamfer inside for to re-guide those loads whatever angle you're having to come in it'll still go in it's close enough to the actual frame that if you didn't have an extended magazine if you just had a, a regular base pad you'd be able going. to go in flush you could flush still fit it back in like you would a normal reload and then we added these scallops on the sides so that to aid in stripping a stuff mag right here And we've got these scallops right here, which help guide your finger down and onto the mag if you're trying to strip a stuck mag. So if you simulate a magazine that was stuck, that wouldn't drop free, you could literally just come in here. It actually pushes your fingers down into the magazine, especially if this were an OEM base plate. You would go right to that seam. So you rip it out. And you can help rip it right out. Right. And by the way, you're still running the doctor site up top, right? Would you still run a doctor Mark site? three or... This is a, um, I believe this is Dr. Site 3. three, um, three yeah. And this guy, bronze. yeah, this one's one of the bronze anodized. And, um, you know, this is our beater gun. I mean, this barrel has right. been shot. With several, a backup iron size suppressor height. Sites. Right. We still run that setup. I mean, the Trigicons? Or what? Yep. These are Trigicon suppressor height sites. And um, co witnessed. Yeah, we co-witness them together. Is it lower third co-witness or, or uh, just perfect co-witness? Um, for this, we like to lollipop it. It usually drops right about on top, depending on your range. I set it up for the most effective range we found is beyond 20, 20 meters, so 20, 25 meters we set it up. But I like to keep this one on because uh, people ask why we like Doctor so much. And if you look at the top of this, it's got several dents. Um, okay. During testing, uh, one of our military guys actually dropped this out of an LMTV, and so it landed um, really on the site and landed on a rock and it didn't break. Right. So they were tough, durable I was just mentioning this because you, you, know, you see a lot of uh, you know, RMRs. Yeah, so. no, they're, they're tough, durable yeah. uh, uh, suppressor height sites. Yeah, very cool. All right, so that's pretty much it, right, Dave? Yeah, um, we've got a brass plug in here. Um, we actually, we were gonna go with an aluminum plug, but we actually found that uh, brass is a little bit more effective, doesn't need to be coated, doesn't need to be anodized like aluminum, and um, it actually adds a little bit of weight in the butt, so as we're as we're shooting, it uh, it actually mitigates some of that muzzle flip. Very cool. All right, Arsenal, Democ Arsenal Democracy with uh, New Definition, and we are at Shot Show 2016. We're actually up in the Trump Hotel right now, in uh, beautiful Las Vegas, and uh, yeah, it's a very, this is after the show show basically is what this is. So all right, you you are watching DefenseReview.com.